In the heart of the Industrial Revolution, a new player emerged in the agricultural sector. This was none other than David Brown. Born in 1860 as a pattern manufacturing company, David Brown soon found its rhythm in the creation of gear systems. But the real turning point came in 1936, when the company introduced the VAC-1, the first David Brown tractor. This marked a significant shift in the company's focus. And so the journey of David Brown tractors began setting the stage for a revolution in the farming world. David Brown didn't settle with just one innovation. The company continued to evolve, creating tractors that became the backbone of the farming industry. In the aftermath of the Second World War, they rolled out the VAC 1A model in 1945. This sturdy workhorse quickly became a favorite among farmers. Two years later, David Brown introduced the Cropmaster. This tractor was a game changer, boasting features that revolutionized farming practices. The company didn't rest on its laurels though. It continued to innovate, launching the 50 series in the 60s. These tractors were renowned for their power and efficiency, making them a mainstay on farms across the globe. In the 70s, David Brown unveiled the 90 series, a line of tractors that combined cutting-edge technology with the reliable performance the company was known for. Despite changes in the company and the industry, David Brown's legacy of reliable, efficient tractors endures. While much has changed since David Brown first started producing tractors, the influence of these machines remains. From humble beginnings, through a series of evolutionary leaps, David Brown tractors have left an indelible mark on the farming industry. Even today you'd find these stalwarts of agriculture tirelessly working on farms across the globe. They embody not just the legacy of a company but the enduring spirit of farming itself. From the first VAC-1 to the modern machines of today, David Brown tractors stand as a testament to innovation, quality and the enduring spirit of farming.